Hello, everybody. We are going to be discussing about you, Xena, shoulder pad. We have flight and fly. And we're going to go over the differences we're go here. Over the differences. And we here. wanted to just point out some things, and uh, that way you can kind of see and tell uh, for yourself what might be a little bit better uh, for the situation. I would say the fly, these fly shoulder pads have a slightly better uh, protection than the flight. Um, but the flight are still also good. They both give good range of motion. Um, you have these metal uh, on the belt strips, um, on the nylon belt straps, and then uh, this one, you don't have that. And we wanted to maybe show you kind of this one on the inside. It's got a little bit, not as much padding. I'll show you the difference. This is the flight. Uh, there is a little space here for your uh, joint, uh, your AC joint to kind of sit in and a little bit more protection on the front and back. And then it's just a little groove. Uh, uh, some of the grooves that your AC joint uh, sits in. Um, and then it has these layers of protection on the, on the sides and top as well. And so that's the flight. Yep. And then the this fly. is the fly. fly. The fly, you see, does not have that groove for the AC joint, but the padding is just a more substantial in the shoulder area. Um, it does not have, similar to this, the three layers of protection. What it has instead is just this one layer on the outside, then the mm -hmm. second small little layer. Yeah. And then what they do have on the inside is these shock absorbers. If you can see that there's two shock absorbers that they have right on the inside, uh, right where the shoulder sits. So I'm not sure how much value they add or if it's kind of seems a little gimmicky and, you know, just to be able to say they're in there for technology reasons, but I don't know that they really add a whole lot in my opinion. Not really sure, um, but I do feel that there's a bit more protection for the fly than the flight. Um, the flight seems, uh, it sits a little bit lower profile. Um, you can see how the neck roll here, is, this is this is where the shoulders are slightly lower than the neck roll here, you can see the this part is slightly higher than the neck roll neck roll um i would not say it's a ton but you know maybe a quarter of an inch to half an inch difference on the profile a little slightly higher for the fly and so now we're going to try them on um just going to put these on and you can kind of see what they look like and how they go on through here and then this buckle you just kind of cinch those down to whatever's you want them tight but not super uncomfortably tight but you want them as tight without being uncomfortable and then you can stick this strap yep, in there inside so there so it kind of stays out of the way and you put this one on here and you can kind of see what they look like and how this is a medium these are both mediums and he's about 85 pounds and how tall are you trey 58 eight inches. 58 inches about 85 pounds he um he could probably go with a small or a medium I think medium's a little bit big. I think this will allow him to be able to use it for the next year, maybe two. You can kind of see, you could probably get away with slightly smaller, but I feel like it's a pretty good fit, mm -hmm. the, way, the way they fit. But, and then that's how 
Why don't you do some range of motion? Yeah, there's some good throwing motion. Yeah, pretty good motion. Yeah, these like lift up pretty well to kind of get out of the way when throwing, you're trying to move. Throwing stuff. And um, tackle. Wrap around and then wrap up. Yep. Yep. All right, let's take the other one, take those off, and we'll put the uh, other ones on. And then the way you take them off, this there's like this elastic yeah. piece right there. You just kind of spread them out, and they're easy to yeah. a lot then, easier to take on and off. On the back, it has it moves, so yep. So it gives you a little bit more movement, and it's not as restrictive. And here's the fly we'll be putting on. This is the one with extra padding. Offers a little bit more protection, we think. Yeah. He likes both of them. Yep. There's pros and cons. I like the uh, the flight, the flights, the ones that are down on the couch there, um, because they're a bit lower profile. Yep. Um, but I like the flies because they offer a, a little bit more protection. I and feel the like. A little easier. To put and I do like. Bigger. I do like these buckles as well better. I feel yep. like they're gonna last longer. I'm a wondering how long those this this will last. Yep. I'm sure it'll be fine, but you know the metal I feel like just makes it so they're not gonna like break this area here or strap or anything. So, all right. So here is the uh, here's what the flight flies look like. And you can see they it's are... It's about the same throwing and range of motion. Yeah, so when he lifts his arm up, this moves out of the way. Um, again, these are probably... He could probably go with the smalls, um, but I don't know yeah. if the smalls would fit him next year. So they're pretty... And just stay like that. And then they're pretty good. Just stand normal. Yep, they're pretty good in terms of size. Um, like I said, he probably could go a little bit smaller, but um, but not too terribly uh, big for him. But they do sit right here a bit higher on his shoulders than the flies or the flights yep. do. Is it so higher? I just like how this seems like a lot more protection um, in the shoulder area than the flights. Um, but I just like how they, I wish these sat a little bit lower. Maybe, I don't know, personally, maybe got rid of these shock absorbers because I don't really know how much they really add. Yeah. And then sit this portion a little bit lower. And I think that would make this pad a lot better um, than I wouldn't be going back and forth on versus pro, low, pro, lower profile but more protection. Okay. Um, the only reason I like the lower profile is when he has his helmet yeah, on. Yeah, like the face mask and maybe some Yeah, why don't you it. grab your helmet and let's throw that. Uh, so we have a Zenith X2E Plus. We're going to be getting a uh, we're waiting for the Zenith Shadow XR. We have that one coming. I ordered it back in April and it's still not here. And this is July 25th. It's been three months and they still don't have that helmet here. So I'm hoping we get it soon. We're gonna do, we'll do a video About on this. the differences yep between the X2E Plus and the Shadow XR Youth. So the only reason I want it low profile, and it's really not that big of a deal, but when he moves his head a little bit, um, it tends to hit the top of that shoulder pad a little bit on his chin, yep. on his, oh, sorry, on his chin strap kind of hits just a little bit. A little bit. When, when he has his head normal, like looking up, it doesn't, but when he's, if he's looking slightly down, 
then it'll hit the uh, chin strap kind of hits the top of that shoulder pad where with the on the flight yep go ahead on flights there's a little low profile so then it's less hitting yeah it doesn't hit as much when he it doesn't hit it really at all when he turns his head so <clears throat> i don't know there's there's pros and cons i really wish they had this pad lower profile uh, maybe take the shocks out and drop this piece just a little bit, maybe a quarter of an inch to a half an inch lower. And then I think these pads would be would be great. And possibly maybe even do like this with some of this layer of protection as well. I don't know. They're, they're both pretty good pads. Um, these ones were, we got them at Dick's for a hundred and... 50 bucks and then these ones were 120 bucks for the flights so we're still up in the air on what we're gonna what we're gonna do but thought we'd give this review and stay tuned for our uh review yeah, of the fun. shadow xr the youth zenith shadow xr and we'll do it with the review of that zenith x2e plus and comment down below which one you think's better out of these. Yeah, we'd love to hear comments on what, what you think is better, um, what you guys have liked. If anybody else has tried the fly and the flights, we'd love to hear your comments. And uh, yeah, thanks for uh, let us know if we can answer any questions for you yeah. about these two. Make sure to like and subscribe. Yep.